Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Janae and we're going to do a full post review on this beautiful painting from In Love Arts. This is a 50 by 50 full round drill. I ordered this back on November 7th. It shipped out on November 8th and I received it on November 26th. This painting is called Coastal Wave and a little backstory on this, I had received an email from Miranda, the marketing associate from In Love Arts, and she had reached out to me to ask if I would consider doing a review on one of their products. They do have more than diamond paintings on their website, and I will have all that information linked down below in the description if you're interested in taking a look. I will also have the unboxing video linked down below in the description as well. I would encourage you to take a look at that unboxing if you haven't already, because I was surprised over a few things that I wasn't expecting when unboxing this painting. The criteria for this review was to look over their products, decide which product I wanted to do as far as a review, <clears throat> and contact Miranda, let her know, then at that point she would send me a $15 off coupon code to be able to purchase that item. Now because I had not purchased from this store before and I didn't know about this store, I decided to go with a smaller size and I'll go over that information a little bit in detail later in the video. So move this aside so you can see this. Here is the outcome of this beautiful painting. And again, it is a 50 by 50 round. Um, before we go over the pros and cons and my final thoughts, just a little bit of a disclosure here. Just wanted to let everyone know I am not an affiliate with this store, nor was I paid to do this review. All the information that I'm going to be sharing with you is based on my experience doing the painting. So by saying that everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and point out some of the beautiful detail on this painting. From what I've seen in the viewfinder, it is amazing, the detail. But I am going to let you know that I'm not 100% pleased with the size of this painting. And I do wanna say, I'm the one that chose the size here, so this has nothing to do with the store. I think this painting should have been bigger. And again, that was my decision. Like I said, I had not purchased from this store before, so I wanted to go with something a little bit small. Now, if you were interested in this painting, and it is beautiful, um, I would advise getting something like a 60 by 60 or bigger, so that way it can pull out the details, especially in this area here where the resort is, and, the more, and to make this more detailed down here as well. Other than that, I'm very pleased with this painting. I loved putting it together. It was quick and easy. There's color blocking up here in the sky, which you don't see. Here we go. Sorry about that. I've got to move. There's color blocking up through here on the top where the sky and the moon is. And then as you start going down in the painting, there is confetti. So I am going to let you know there's lots of confetti through here and there's lots of confetti down in the water area and through here as well. Um, the detail of the moon and the moon reflection on the water is amazing. It's beautiful. And the detail in the crashing wave also is very nice. Now when I'm looking at this in the viewfinder, what really impresses me is this area down here. It's beautiful, the details, where you can see the smaller waves lapping up against the sand and again, this beautiful reflection. Now, I'm looking at the viewfinder and as I said, it's amazing. It looks beautiful, however, when I'm looking at it face on and as close as I am, it's pixelated. So that's why I'm saying if you're interested in this beautiful picture, definitely don't go with a 50 by 50 or lower because you will be disappointed with it. 
Okay, so now that we've gone through all of that in this beautiful detail, one thing I do want to say is that I did swap out their regular um, diamonds. Here, let me just, I'm going to angle this a little bit. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Here we go. There. So one of the things I did do with this is I swapped out the regular drills in the moon and some through here and put AB drills in that. And it was just enough to get some extra sparkle in that area. So I'm, again, I'm sorry my, um, I'm trying to, to angle that out, but that's as far as it's gonna go. So I, I really do apologize for that. Okay, so let's get into the pros and cons to this painting. And we're gonna do the cons first because I always like to go over the pros and end with a happy note. And then we'll go over my final thoughts on this painting. I have three cons to this painting and these cons are based on personal preference. This has nothing to do with the store. First is the kit comes with no inventory sheet. For me, I prefer to have an inventory sheet. That way I can reference the inventory sheet if it only comes with one schematic. And also it is good to always double check um, the amount of drills that comes with the kit. So that's one thing I would really like to see from any store that I purchase from. Now, if it's a store that does not provide an inventory sheet, it's really nice if they could provide the number of drills in each color on one of their schematics if they have two. Now this painting only comes with one schematic and it's right over here. And unfortunately, you won't be able to see it because I do have washi tape on the, I do have washi tape on the canvas, but here is the schematic over here. So that's, another reason why I like the inventory sheet. In order for me to be able to go off of this one schematic, I would have to have taken the washi tape, pull it up, check the symbols, and compare it to what I have, and then put it back down. Yeah, I, I don't really like to do that. So, um, and I'm not a really good drawer. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, so when I put my, drills together and I always usually just put the DMC code on it. This time we had to literally draw the symbol on that sticky and yeah, it didn't look very pretty. <laughs> so um, yeah, so if we could get an inventory sheet, uh, that would be perfect because then you can always reference that as you're working on your project. Having your schematic only on one side and having to put washi tape down because of excess glue covers all that up and it makes it very difficult. All right, I'm gonna bring that back up. Okay, so that goes over the inventory sheet. The other thing I wanted to bring up that I found was a con for me was the training wheels. This does come with training wheels. I am not a fan of training wheels. And the reason for that is, is if you don't get those drills right on top of that training wheel, the outline will show up if you don't have that drill right on. So if there's any way the store can eliminate the training wheels, that's great. But I will say this though, I was impressed with the fact that the training wheels were only in the darker areas. So right through here, um, you have that through here where the, the resort is and then the darker areas in the water. The training wheels are white, so it made it, uh, for me, it made it a lot easier because white training wheels don't show up as prominently as the black ones do. So the white training wheels I felt was a, a better alternative than the black. So I'm okay with the white ones, but I would still rather not have training wheels at all. Now up on the top, I'm just gonna bring this down again. Up on the top here, there was no training wheels, just very light training wheels through the uh, palm tree area here. And there was just a little bit here where the darker colors are, but 
like I said, the trading wheels were white, so <clears throat> it didn't really um, protrude out behind those drills if you don't place them properly. And then my third con for this painting was the size. And again, that's on me because I'm the one that chose the 50 by 50. I could have gone with a bigger one, but as I said, this was the first time I've done a painting with this company, so I wanted to go with something more medium and small versus something large. So those are my cons, guys. It's just the training wheels, the lack of inventory sheet, and the size of the painting. Now we're gonna go with the pros to this painting, and there are lots of pros to this painting. Again, like I said, if you haven't seen my unboxing, I would highly recommend that you do because you're gonna hear the surprise on a couple of things that this painting came with. First and foremost, when I unboxed the painting, it wasn't rolled around a foam core and it was basically packaged, uh, rolled in the box and then the toolkit and the drills were the sole support in the center. <clears throat> Personally, I am not a fan of that way of shipping. But when I unraveled the painting, to my surprise, this was poor glue. And I was really excited about that. The reason why I say that is because if you were to ship a double-sided adhesive canvas like this one was shipped, the chances of having rivers or bubbles and puckering are fairly high uh, and you would be spending 15, 20 minutes or longer trying to do canvas repair if there was any canvas repair needed. So when I saw that this was poured glue, I was really excited. The other thing that I was really excited over and had absolutely no idea until I was doing the unboxing is that the protective sheet that we normally get with poured glue is clear plastic and it covers the entire drill field. This painting came in two parts. Um, there was a bottom part here, <clears throat> excuse me, and then there was an upper part. So the protective sheet was cut in two parts, which made it even better. That way I didn't have to swap out that sheet for parchment paper. So I actually worked with the protective sheet still on the canvas. I was extremely impressed with that. Great, great idea. Also guys, this is a true 50 by 50. We did measure the entire drill field and it does measure two sides. So I was impressed with that. Um, then also I wanted to bring up the amazing drills that comes with these. Now going back to the unboxing, I actually pulled out some of the drills to show you. These drills are really nice. I had very minimal garbage and I didn't have any problems with nubs or concave drills, no dimples. The drills were beautiful. So loved their drills. And then when I completed the painting, I had a lot of extra drills. So I was really impressed with that as well. And then lastly, another thing that impressed me about this painting or this store was the quick shipping. Now this painting came from the other side of the pond, as I say, but it did come from China and I received it within 14 days. So I was very impressed with that because uh, normally from Al any of the AliExpress stores, it takes about four to six weeks. So when this one came in two weeks, I was, I was excited. So very impressed with their shipping as well. So my final thoughts, guys, honestly, and, and you know I'm going to be 100% honest, forthcoming, I truly enjoyed this painting. Um, I had no issues as I was working on it. As I said, the three cons that I brought up, those are personal preference. So if you're a painter that likes training wheels, you're going to love this painting. If you're a painter that doesn't particularly care for training wheels, you may like them because they're white and they're not as prominent as the blacks. The inventory sheet does not come with the painting. Again, it's personal preference. The big selling point for me on this painting 
was the poured glue, the two-part protective sheet, and the beautiful drills on this painting. So I will definitely be purchasing another painting from them. Now, would I recommend this store? Hands down, yes. I, as I said, I did not have any issues as I was working on this painting, and I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. So I would definitely recommend the, the store. But remember, if you do get this painting, don't get it in a 55 or lower because you, I don't think you'll be happy with it. So by saying that everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and close the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it that thumbs up. That way it lets me know that you really liked it. If you didn't like the video, I'm okay with that. But if you can kindly go down below in the comments and let me know what you didn't like, I would love to hear from you. That way it helps me improve my videos in the future. Also, if you're new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. Also, don't forget to hit the bell, which is right next door to the subscribe button. That way it will let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, by saying that, if this is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If this is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if this is evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. My name is Janae, and thank you for joining me today on The Review. We'll talk again real soon. Merry Christmas, everyone, and have a safe and happy holiday. Bye.